To us, it is everything. Now I see you've met my fellow gatherers. Good, very good. I'm called Kenbe. Now to your eyes, this may look like a room filled with old junk, so allow me to clarify. Some of it's new junk. <laughs> we humbly call ourselves the gatherers because we search the galaxy for ancient relics, forgotten places, abandoned outposts, battle ravaged planets, and what we find, we bring here. So where a stormtrooper might see worthless clutter, those who know see priceless history. And in these times, preserving our past <laughs> may just ensure the future. Yes? Yes? Yes. yes? yes. Now, my friends, by this point, you've all heard the stories of Luke Skywalker. Oh. We hear there is another. A new Jedi. Who knows her name? Ray. Ray, yes. And what Ray is leading is the spark of hope we have all been waiting for. And that, my friends, is why you're here today to look ahead to the future and to build this. A lightsaber. Now the lightsaber has been wielded by some of our greatest heroes and our darkest enemies. It is elegant, enigmatic. To build a lightsaber is an art. Now the saber is a reflection of the builder with the force flowing between them. And today, you will feel that connection. Now enough babbling, let's get busy. <laughs> we start with perhaps the most important aspect of the lightsaber. The Kyber crystal, able to focus the energy of the force, to magnify it. Now some say that the Kyber crystal is the heart of the lightsaber. The color of the crystal reveals the color of the blade. Now this, this you may already know from some of the great Jedi in our history. A blue crystal, such as the one wielded by the great master Obi-Wan Kenobi and his apprentice, Anakin Skywalker, and, of course, Rey. Green, the crystal that called to Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. The violet crystal, rare and beautiful, like the blade wielded by Mace Windu. Red. There are some who call this the color of power and ambition, the crystal of Darth Maul, Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader, and now Kylo Ren. But these are the stories of the past, and we are here for you, our future. You will now choose your Kyber crystals. My friends, close your eyes. What color do you see in your mind? Choose your crystal. And know that it is equally likely that your crystal is choosing you. Now open your eyes and take your crystal. Well done! Well done indeed. You will now join that crystal to the aspects of lightsaber design that you chose moments ago on the other side of the workshop door. One important detail, so listen very closely. Make sure the crystal is resting on the tiny green tray at the top left of the building station. Good. Very good. Now, we will start work on your hilt. This is the foundation of your lightsaber. Your center of control. And the thing that keeps your hand from disintegrating. In these boxes are the aspects of design you've already selected. You'll find the chassis, activation plates, grip, emitter, and pommel cap. Now remember, building a lightsaber is a very personal thing. Just as you've selected your crystal, you will now choose each and all aspects of design that make your saber unique. Should you have questions or if you face obstacles, the gatherers are here to help, and all you need to do is ask. Now! Let's build. Hello, travelers. My name is Asajj. I'm here to help you out today. So, we first want to start off with grabbing hold of our chassis. 
you're going to make sure that those lines face straight up towards the ceiling, okay? The central chamber here is going to house your kyber crystal. It is going to have a spring on the inner top chamber there. That is going to help house and get the kyber crystal inside. You're going to take one point of them for kyber crystal, find that central spring platform, and then slide up. And that will help lock your crystal into place. It should light up and sing to you, so that is how you'll know that it is inside. This is the hardest part of the build, so if you need any help, just let me know. I think I got it upside down first. So. Oh, that's okay. Sometimes that happens. They both have So the trick that I have learned is if you take the point and you kind of hold it with the back with one oh. hand with the index finger behind it, it helps give it something to push against. There we go. If you can hold that straight up for me. No, you had it. Oh, I was right. Okay. But sometimes our chassis get overloaded by their powerful fiber crystals. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try that one more time. Okay. You're going to be a master at putting your fiber crystal in as soon as you're done. When we place these on our chassis, we want the sticker rim facing the activation plate, and then you're going to squeeze and twist it. one set of activation plates. These cannot be mixed and matched, unfortunately. Now, on the side of your chassis, you're going to see that there is a red and a blue square. On the inside of your plates, you'll also notice that there is a red and a blue square. So you want to match the red square to the red square and the blue square to the blue square. They will snap on either side. I'm trying to replicate Dr. Vader's idea. Hey, what do we think of this design? I'm going to need your help. I will do my best. Please do not put this pressure on me. Alright. When Kembe says activate, I'll switch to the top. Alright, once we get our switches on, can you go ahead and test your switch for me? Slide up. There you go. Right, we're going to jump over to columns one and two. I'm going to choose two. Right, so of now, um, one's going to go at the bottom, one will go at the top. So you can mix and match here. When we put these on, you see this bronze rim. That's what you want to face the activation plate, and then you'll squeeze into the bottom. Okay. Put that one around. Flip it around. Oh, yeah. yeah. Squeeze and twist. Squeeze and twist. Squeeze and twist. Squeeze and twist. Yeah. And then, um, if there's a bit some help, I can help you out. Okay. Okay, I Perfect. And then another one for the top bit. And I would say this one will be the one that we I've seen two of the movies. I did like them, but I never continued. If you hold it upside down, it'll then actually it's actually an emitter for the top. That's that just going to twist right on. Twist the other way. No, you're good. And to complete our hill, we just want to check out the bottom there. Alright, All right, my friend, when you are ready to activate, you're going to slide up on your switch there, and then down is the activator. Congratulations. Alright, what do we think of this design? Do you like it? Uh, yeah. Yeah? 
beautiful. I'm gonna do a quick check here. When Kembe says activate, we'll switch the switch up, right back down and deactivate. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Well done, my friends. We've completed our hills. Now, trust us. Leave them where they lie. Take a deep breath and move back to the outer walls of the workshop. Gatherers, take over. The gatherers are now stabilizing your chosen Christian and the completed hills of these saints for their very first activation. It's the one thing you don't do coming out of the starting gate because you must be trained. But my friends, your time is coming. Now, we move ahead to the final aspect of our build. Many parts still now joined they are. Yes, light sailor. It begins. It is time. Your journey. Master Yoda, it is indeed time to take that first step. We've reached the final stage. The bond between Saber and Builder is about to be forged. In a moment, you will come forward, place your hand upon the hilt of your completed lightsaber, and when I give the word, you will, for the first time, activate your blades. Are you ready? Yes. Step forward, and on my mark, activate. Raise your sabers. You have built a lightsaber. Like the Jedi and the Sith that have come before you, you two can change the galaxy. Remember, it only takes a spark. And now, my friends, if you would be kind enough to momentarily deactivate and lower your blades. Ah, complete your lightsaber is. Like you when it can, but believe you, it cannot. Your journey, you both will begin. May your force be with you. Thank you, Master Yoda. My friends, in your hands you hold remarkable power. And remarkable power shouldn't be dropped on the floor. <laughs> in order to preserve what you have so carefully created, we are pleased to grant you a saber sheath as you depart the chamber. Now, our time together is at an end, but your journey is just beginning. Time to make your mark on the galaxy. And remember, you are as unique and as extraordinary as the blade you have forged. And perhaps next time, we shall tell your stories. Raise and activate your lightsabers. May the spires keep you, my friends. Through that doorway, farewell and good luck.